Hey guys, Joshua McDonald Co here from Sue, bringing you a video on Google, Google Images, and how to actually find some free images through Google that you can use in any way you want to use. Now, I made a recent post on this. You guys can check it out. It's a few posts actually below this. If you want to get to that post, you can either A, go down and scroll down from here, or B, comment and say, please tag me, and I will tag you in the post. So from here, we're going to go ahead and go through basically where these images are on Google and how to get to them. Before I go ahead and jump into that, I'm just going to let everybody know that Googling images by themselves without putting on a filter will bring up copyright pictures. And on Sue, you cannot use copyright photos that are not yours. You will not get paid at the end of the day. And if you go in and you're using this tactic to actually try to make money up to your $100 that you can get, and you try to cash out, you're going to be in for some big news because you're not going to get paid. So saying that, I want you guys to really pay attention here. To those that have not been following this method, please do so now. I strongly, strongly urge you do so, and it will help you out in the end, okay? So from your phone, mobile version, or the web version, if you're following along here, you guys will see settings at the bottom. If you visit google.com, it's going to be at the bottom left or right corner. On the web version, it's going to be in the right corner. On your phone, it's going to be in the left corner. You'll have to scroll down on your phone a little bit, but you'll see it on the left side down low. So we're going to click that, we're going to go to advanced search. <clears throat> so on your phone, do the same things, go to advanced search. And now from here, you're going to go down to the end. You're going to see a thing here. It's going to say not filtered by license. It's a drop down menu. And then from here, it's usage rights. So these are the rights on photos and what we can use and what people have marked for the rights for their photos that were put on Google. And they're put on Google by Google search engines. And I mean, as you know, the Google search engine, and they actually have site crawlers. They're like little robots that go around. It sounds weird, I know. <laughs> they go on your websites, or they go on the websites, and they crawl for information, and they get all this information, and that's how they go about building their their searches. So basically, we're going to go down, and I'm going to recommend either A, you use free to use or share, even commercially. Or B, free to use, share, or modify even commercially. I wouldn't recommend these other ones due to the fact that commercially means you can also sell these, or not sell them, so to speak, but modify them in any kind of way and use them in any kind of way. These are more for a business aspect, though, if you wanted to use them for business aspects. Which in this case, we're on Sue. We're not using them for a business, but we're using them in our own way and we're making something off of them. So I recommend just to be safe, you guys use commercially. Now, I use share or modify even commercially for my images due to the fact that I always edit my pictures in Photoshop, as you guys can see here. It's a recent post I made. You guys can see that later. That's going to be the image with the other one. But back to where are we here? Okay, back to the usage rights here. You're going to want to make sure that you're using either A or B. I use this again that way, you know, because I modify my images in, in Photoshop. And if you guys use editing software, I recommend you do the same. If you guys use the Sue website and use the editor on Sue and put your name on it, please do the same thing just to be safe because you are modifying that image. Even if you're putting your name on it, you are changing the image and what the image was to your own. Now, they're free to use, so I highly recommend you use either A or B. Use A here if you plan to use the image but are not going to edit it. B if you're going to edit it in any kind of way, okay? So now when you click Advanced Search, it will bring you to the search menu. You can search up whatever you want from here. So let's say I want to look up Nature, for example. And we're going to go to Images. And you can see right here, there's a drop down here labeled for reuse with modification. This is under the CCO license 1.0. If you guys want to look up that, you can look it up in Google. It will give you the definition that you can use an image that is under this license in any kind of way that you want, other than selling it as is, which with Sue, we can get away with it because we are not actually selling the image. We are posting it and sharing the image, but we are being slightly compensated for it. But since it is completely free to use, it's not licensed, it's not locked to any one person. It was created by someone, but they are just giving it out for free. It is okay to use. And then from here, you can actually select other ones. From your phone, I believe it's the same. But you can use all these pictures here now 
and they're free to use. You can put your name on them. You can edit them in any kind of way you want. Again, if you're going to use it and not have have them edited, you're going to use the other the other way I showed you a few minutes ago. But basically, these are all at your hands. These are all from different free source websites. And it's just a lot faster, I believe, to use Google than to go looking for a certain image. So if you wanted to come and look for, you know, people laughing, for example, instead of going on a website and searching it and finding the perfect image, it's they're smaller thumbnails. They're, it's just so much easier to look and find something. And again, they're all free, so it's like it's it, it's a lot faster, I believe. And they're all high quality too, which they're all taken by photographers, so it's it's excellent. Excellent source, and I highly, highly recommend that everyone does this. Do not ever use Google without having this on. Again, it's to advanced search, and I will include that as a shortcut into this post. So you can click that. You'll go right to the advanced search. You scroll all the way down. You change the license or the usage rights, however, and it will bring up all these images when you come and start looking for content to create with. That's really going to cover guys. That's the basis of how to really use Google if you want to sit and use it for content creation and finding excellent content that's free for you to use. And this usually will link and it will stick. So when you do set those settings up, they will stay. So whenever you're searching, it will actually stay on there now. So again, like I search with the people laughing, it'll automatically be there for me. Well, maybe not this time. Well, let me check here. So basically that's how that's done if this is not the case then we have to go back and change it but that's okay yeah I guess we'd have to change it but I mean in any case it's not a big deal because again all the thumbnails smaller pictures you click them it brings up the bigger picture you can immediately download it copy paste it it's not a big thing you can also by the way change the file formats so you could and if you work with gif files PNG files any file you want is basically here so that's a nice little tool as well so disregard what I said I guess about a sticking that doesn't work it worked for me earlier I guess it's not gonna work for me now but again guys this is Google and how to actually use it hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys next time